Okay, we're gonna start in the screened in lanai in the front of the home. The reason why is because I started out there and there was a bee on my head. <laughs> so then I <laughs> kind of freaked out and had to start over. So we'll go outside in just a second, but just wanted to show you, this is a fun little area here. There's a skylight there. It is carpeted. And this is the main entry of the home. So you come in here, really nice and open. They've done quite a few updates in this home. It's got engineered hardwood in the main living areas. Got this custom built-in entertainment center right over here. So to my right is the master. Please forgive me, I could not find the remote control to turn on the overhead light, but there's plenty of lighting in here, so I'm sure you can get a good idea. It is carpeted. It's got this nice vaulted ceiling feature, plantation shutters that cover the sliding glass doors that will lead out to the covered, uh, excuse me, enclosed balcony that we were just at. So definitely a really grand master. Got the barn door that leads into the updated master bath. Dual vanities with his and her sinks. It does have the vaulted ceiling feature in here with another skylight. Beautiful flooring. It's got a, a huge walk-in closet. It is carpeted. Got full length mirrors here. You can utilize that when you're getting ready. Tons of storage and a beautiful hexagon tile in the water closet shower area. And a really nice, very sizable walk-in shower. All of the tiles are in really great shape. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, coming back out here, we're back in the main living area. I'm just gonna stand in the corner here so that you can really get a feel for the space. Tons of windows and sliders, so there's a lot of natural light in this home. They're utilizing this area as an office. Kind of separated the space there with their furniture, which is clever. So this home is a three bedroom. So now we're looking at the second bedroom. We just came from the master. It's a standard closet right over here behind these doors. Stand in the corner here. Definitely a nice size room. Looks like they have a full bed. In the hallway, got a coat closet to utilize for some extra storage. I just kind of want to show you the shape here. So this is going to be the full bath that your guests would utilize when they're over. It's got the same flooring as the master bath. Nice tall ceilings, even though it's not vaulted like the last one. And then through here is your laundry room. Got access to the side yard right over there. Some extra storage along the walls in the back. The hot water heater. There's a kitchen right over there. We'll get to that in just a minute. This is the third and final bedroom that we're gonna see. Again, really nice tall ceilings. These are popcorn ceilings. Carpet in the bedroom, a really large closet. I'm just gonna open this all the way here. Got a full dresser in there. That gives you an idea of the space. And this is a king size bed. So definitely still plenty of room to utilize. And coming out through here, it's a really beautiful kitchen. Got 
got the off kitchen dining. We've got the same flooring that's in the master bath and the full bath. A beautiful bay window area with lots of windows for natural light. Looking out into all the lush greenery and vegetation. Behind those sliders is the pantry. So, here we are. I'm just gonna kind of walk slowly back through the house. You can also utilize this as the front door, but since the parking and garage is over here, this, this one kind of makes more sense. Okay, take you back out here <laughs> and hope that no bees swarm me. <laughs> I'm gonna step down. So the Davis Shores neighborhood, really fun neighborhood, super centrally located. We are like two blocks back from Anastasia Boulevard, which is right there. So everything is super walkable, very bikeable. And this is 100 South Matanzas.